The topic is the Korean War and Civil Rights, and we're talking to uh, Dr. Charles uh, Kimbrough. Uh, Dr. Kimbrough, uh, let's uh, move uh, you into uh, uh, your collegiate education. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that uh, you've already indicated that there was never a real tradition uh, among your family, being a rural family, uh, to think in terms of education, especially higher education. How did you become involved in higher education? Well, after uh, finishing grade school, I wanted to go to high school and told Papa that I did. Mm -hmm. And he reminded me that somebody had to stay there to uh, help on the farm. And of course, my two older brothers had left, mm -hmm. and I looked around for somebody and I only saw myself. <laughs> and uh, that, mm -hmm. though I, I stayed on the farm uh, two additional years mm -hmm. after finishing grade school, mm -hmm. prior to starting the high school. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the uh, army, mm -hmm. uh, I, I went to uh, be. Uh, drafted and of course uh, because of a childhood accident mm -hmm. I I didn't I was not accepted mm -hmm. and so uh, I was 18 at that point mm -hmm. so the uh, a bus started coming within a mile mm -hmm. of our house mm -hmm. and for uh, colored people mm -hmm. white people apparently I thought it was a pretty good thing at that point mm -hmm. to uh, that colored people should have an opportunity to go to high school mm -hmm. 10 mm -hmm. miles away. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. I got on the school bus at that point and started the high school mm -hmm. and went for two years. Uh, good student, uh, mm -hmm. uh, taking in consideration sometime I was out of school mm -hmm. two or three days a week and mm -hmm. instead in, 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 in school two or three days. Mm -hmm. uh, I kept up. In fact, uh, there were people who would say, oh, because you, you made the honor roll. Mm -hmm. you, you are, you're on the, mm -hmm. you, you're mm -hmm. doing all right. Mm -hmm. And uh, after two years, of course, I'm almost 20 years of age. Mm -hmm. And even though I had been rejected when I first was drafted, then I said, well, I, you know, if I, if I can no longer play football, mm -hmm. Tennessee has uh, its uh, tradition of you, you're out of the game you, mm -hmm. you get your after your 19th birthday mm -hmm. so I said maybe I just I'm going to volunteer for the army mm -hmm. and uh, had, uh, went to the army volunteered made a good score as I understood mm -hmm. because there was no great demand for mm -hmm. uh, soldiers in 1947 mm -hmm. war having been completed mm -hmm. in 1945 mm -hmm. but so uh, I went to uh, to the army mm -hmm. accepted in the army uh, it, in Korea twice and then uh, after that went to Tennessee State mm -hmm. and subsequently Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, mm -hmm. uh, that, that, there again. Mm -hmm. well, I'm, I'm traveling, breaking new ground every time mm -hmm. I uh, mm -hmm. chart on something, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm moving on. Mm -hmm. So that's how, how I got uh, to mm -hmm. college. Mm -hmm. uh, that granted me uh, uh, college education, mm -hmm. GI Bill. Mm -hmm. I, had to, I had some pretty high sight. Somehow mm -hmm. I didn't know how I was going to get there. Mm -hmm. As I understand it now, the Lord was guiding me through some very mm -hmm. turbulent mm -hmm. waters, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. I was getting in some places that have become mm -hmm. very significant mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. to me. Well, now, how was Tuskegee Institute when you first arrived there? Uh, and, uh, and, and what influence were you able to uh, see of uh, Mr. Washington's presence, not only there, but throughout the state of Alabama, in the South, in a real sense? Well, you know, uh, I, I think that if people could go to Tuskegee and even now uh, and see the curriculum, uh, how they're laid out, you could have a greater appreciation for uh, President uh, Dr. Washington. Mm -hmm. You know, there was some country, a lot of controversy, mm -hmm. the Du Bois side mm -hmm. and the Washington side. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Washington has, has let, you, let your bucket down where mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. And uh, black people at that time uh, did not have access to uh, voting rights, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So he, one thing he believed in, that you have a trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 
at Tuskegee, uh, you can go, and if you're not able to mm -hmm. finish in four years, if you're not able to go there on a regular mm -hmm. uh, paid scholarship, you can work your way through mm -hmm. and finish in five years. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's a Washington mm -hmm. flavor right there. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, being a gray in the area, mm -hmm. the agriculture, uh, any facet of, mm -hmm. of, of, of farming mm -hmm. can be found, including shoe, mm -hmm. shoe making and so mm -hmm. forth, mm -hmm. right there at Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it, is, it is a great legacy mm -hmm. for uh, uh, people to see mm -hmm. what, has, what was taken mm -hmm. uh, by Dr. Washington in mm -hmm. terms of opportunities mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. given to the mass mm -hmm. of the people. You know, uh, one of the th features that you see on Tuskegee right now is mm -hmm. uh, the veil being veil of ignorance being, being lifted uh, from the face uh -huh. of the of the uh, ex person, uh -huh. ex slaves. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a part of the flavor mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that and, and all of that had uh, <coughs> a, a tremendous impact, even on you in 1947, many years after the uh, after Washington himself. Well, it, I would I didn't get I went to Tuskegee to the School of Veterinary mm -hmm. Medicine in 1956. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that was a critical time because mm -hmm. uh, the NAACP, speaking mm -hmm. of the NAACP, mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, uh, disenfranchised Guys. in the state of Alabama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That should tell black people now, if you want to know what the NAACP does mm -hmm. or what it has done, mm -hmm. uh, it, it show you that it was the kind of force that mm -hmm. people who could just make their own laws almost mm -hmm. on technicalities. Mm -hmm. We, you know, you don't reveal your membership role, mm -hmm. then you're not registered in the state of Alabama. We, mm -hmm. you know, you we're disenfranchised. Mm -hmm. You can't operate. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, that made Tuskegee, mm -hmm. uh, being as heavily as it was with black population, mm -hmm. uh, a greater uh, force mm -hmm. because you had people there thinking, mm -hmm. how are we going to get out of this mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. abyss of, uh, mm -hmm. of, 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 of racism? Uh, of racism. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, you have organizations coming to the end, like mm -hmm. the Tuskegee Civic Association, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which uh, uh, Dr. Gomillion mm -hmm. headed for so many years mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and dealt with uh, the gerrymandering mm -hmm. fences. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Tuskegee, unlike any other county probably in the... In Dr. Kimbrough, in let, the, let me interrupt for this second right. commercial break and that's after right. which we'll come back and then we'll allow you to continue this sure. uh, conversation. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. The guest is Dr. Charles